स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टडी टुडे एबनॉर्मल कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी अंडर द चैप्टर सॉल्यूशन और इट कैन बी स्टेटेड एज एबनॉर्मल मोलर मास इट अराइजेस ड्यू टू डिसोसिएशन और एसोसिएशन एज नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स चेंजेस इन सॉल्यूशन द कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज सो फॉर डिस्कस्ड was for those kind of solution for which the solute was non electrolyte that means the number of particles does not change when the solute gets dissolved in solution like sugar sugar cannot uh, i mean uh, number of particles from sugar does not change when given in solution but if nacl is given it dissociates into na plus and cl minus ion so the number of particles becomes double than uh, expected that means when nacl is not dissociated and like likewise calcium chloride dissociates into three ions now therefore the number of particles since changing in the solution hence what will happen the value of the colligative property will also change now you find now you find that this can be addressed by van t hoff factor i is the van t hoff factor which is explained as the ratio of observed colligative property that is the colligative property that arises due to dissociation or else association and to the normal or calculated colligative property that means if the solute is not being dissociated or associated and since all the values of colligative properties is related with the molar mass as inversely related rather therefore we can say that the i value van t hoff factor can be stated also as the ratio of normal molar mass to the abnormal molar mass observed colligative property is related to inversely related to observed colli observed molar mass that is stated as abnormal molar mass hence here we can write 1 by observed molar mass or abnormal molar mass and normal or calculated colligative property equals to 1 by normal molar mass so that comes in the numerator therefore it can be stated as also the observed colligative property is due to the total number of particles after dissociation or association and the normal value is the total number of particles before dissociation or association taking place now here if we can uh, take the example of <coughs> delta tb delta tb is the elevation in boiling point the observed value that is this one will be equals to i into the normal value that is delta tb that is that arise without dissociation or association similarly i a pi value osmotic pressure pi observed equals to i pi observed equals to i into pi normal and the other colligative property for those we can write also the relations now here look into the case of dissociation how it changes in case of nacl if 100% dissociation is taking place then the i value is becoming double that means becoming two that means the number of particles becoming double so here the value of i will be taken as two in case of calcium chloride if again 100% dissociation is taking place then i value is due to the three ions coming from the calcium chloride molecule so here we need to put i value as 3 to get the observed value from the normal value now if the dissociation is not 100% then what happens let us take a is an is a solute molecule it is being dissociated to form n number of b particles so initially when one mole of a is taken say then b was not there now 
due to dissociation when equilibrium arises at equilibrium say a fraction alpha of this a is being dissociated so what is remaining of a particle it is 1 minus alpha mole particles corresponds to 1 minus alpha mole that means alpha fraction of 1 is dissociated so 1 minus 1 alpha that is 1 alpha is remaining at the equilibrium and then what is the number of b particle arise since 1 mole of a here from the equation 1 mole of a gives n mole of v then alpha moles of a gives n alpha moles of b where alpha is known as degree of dissociation of a now i equals to we know that number of particles after dissociation and divided by number of particles before dissociation so particle number here now in the solution is 1 minus alpha plus n alpha so 1 minus alpha plus n alpha means it is the mole and the particle number corresponds to that number of moles and if there is no dissociation then it should be 1 at the denominator so therefrom we can calculate alpha equals to i minus 1 divided by n minus 1 where n is what n is the number of particles that is coming from a and now take an example for nacl if it is not 100% dissociated if it is say 80% dissociated so alpha is 80% or 0.8 then if we put value of alpha here alpha equals to i minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 as i have written here so therefrom it is coming i equals to 1.8 that means it is not 2 when 100% dissociation taking place i is 2 but if it is varying from 100% say it is 80% then i is coming 1.8 number of particles is not totally 2 from nacl again we can see for the case of association say say this is a carboxylic acid uh, maybe it is acetic acid here r is cac then it is acetic acid in solution in aqueous solution two moles of acetic acid becomes dimerized means two molecules of acetic acid joined by intermolecular hydrogen bond so if 100% association takes place from two molecules we are getting one so in, uh, uh, similarly if we uh, talk about i what will be the i since it is becoming half the number of particle is becoming half so i value will be half if it is 100% association taking place now if it is not 100% it, if it is somehow different then say we take the example say n number of a solute moles or uh, solute particles is coming into one b particle so initially say one mole of a is taken that is particle number corresponds to one mole is taken at that time b was not there at equilibrium when the equilibrium is reached then say alpha fraction of a has been associated so what is remaining unassociated particles of a it is corresponds to 1 minus alpha mole now therefrom we get b equals to alpha by n mole n mole n particle giving 1 1 particle will give 1 by n then alpha particles will give alpha by n so particle number corresponds to alpha by n mole will be there in the solution so now if we explain i i is equals to number of particles after association that means this one plus this one so 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n i have written here and number of particles before association it was corresponds to one mole so i have written here so therefrom we can simplify and get alpha equals to n into i minus 1 divided by 1 minus n now here n is what n is the number of particles being associated for acetic acid it is 
for acetic acid or carboxylic acid it is n equals to 2 so say for example we are taking an acid which is 30 percent associated it is not being 100 percent associated so here we uh, take the value of alpha is equals to 0.3 and by simplification we can get the value of i equals to 0 0.85 here it is not coming half it is not coming 0.5 for 100 percent association it comes 0.5 or half we have taken 30 percent association the case of 30 percent association it gives the value of i equals to 0 0.85 so in this way for a solution due to dissociation and association we can calculate i value and from the i value we can calculate the values of the observed colligative property is equals to the value of i obtained here or in case of dissociation so the value comes observed colligative property is equals to i into the normal colligative property